Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Udo Sindeidekai and I want to show you how to turn the Polysynth synthesizer in Bitwig into a wonderful virtual analog synthesizer with a few modulators. It would be great if you would leave me a like and a subscription and send me a hello in the comments. Then let's get started. What does it mean to turn the polysynth into a virtual analog synthesizer? That would mean that we would have to recreate the electrical circuits of an old hardware synthesizer. This is not possible with a polysynth, of course. But a characteristic can be given to it so that it no longer sounds so precisely digital. Therefore, we give the polysynth an oscillator drift. An oscillator drift is an oscillator that cannot keep a stable frequency, so to speak, the pitch. Like singers who don't hit the note 100% and then maybe additionally try to correct the pitch. Something like this happened in the past because electronic, electronics could not control the current flow precisely or the power supply was very bad, heat had a big influence on the components, or it had mechanical causes or issues. All this led to pitch instabilities, which in turn shaped the sound of their time with a lot of flotations. And as always in music, the saying applies, just because you don't hit the right note doesn't mean it's wrong. The oscillator drift can of course be built for any other Bitwig synthesizer and of course for all external plugins that are controllable with Bitwig modulators. But uh, to shorten a long speech, let's look at the oscillator drift preset for the polysynth. This is the preset I created, so if you load it, the drift is always on. And um, to make it a little bit um, obvious, I just turn everything on, so not the intensity, because this has all, um, also an effect. So the drift on and intensity define, are defining that um, oscillator drifts and what these oscillator drifts are doing, there, is, there are two random modulators over here. This one controls the pitch on the uh, first oscillator and this one controls the pitch on the second oscillator. And um, um, these modulations are very drastic, but you can... Um, control it with the intensity so it's not that drastic. So if you just use this. So, and this static button just ensures that the um, drifting doesn't doesn't go on while you're playing. So if you hold a note, there's just an initial, like a note uh, trigger oscillator drift. And you can see it over here. They are not, they are not moving. If I switch that off and dynamic detuning is on 100%, you see they are slowly moving then, and then the pitch gets over time um, still the instabilities, and if I put the intensity really high, Intensity. Again? No, maybe not that much. Yeah. 
this intensity button has a logarithmic value, like you can see here, exponential, sorry, it's an exponential value. So in the beginning, it's a little bit slower, but then increases in speed on the last 50%. So, and as I said, the static is just the detuning in the node trigger and then doesn't, and then doesn't move. If you switch it off, it moves according to the dynamic detuning. And this one is um, for the expression pedal. If you have something that has nothing to do with the preset, but it's still there because I um, often use that on the, on the filter over here. So you see it's connected. Where is it? It's connected to the filter over here. And by default, it, the filter is completely on. You can just ignore that because you can control the filter over here. So that's the preset. You can, of course, download the preset. The link to the preset stored on my blog Klangwerk is down in the video description. So my name is Odo Sendai Thanks for watching and paying attention. I hope I hear from you in the comments and hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future. Take care. See you then. Ciao, ciao.